The Cabinet has approved proposals from Justice Minister Helen McEntee to quickly draft legislation so that the UK can again be designated as a safe country to return people seeking asylum. Last month, the High Court ruled that the designation of the UK as a safe third country did not comply with EU law. Today, Ms McEntee said 91% of those seeking asylum so far this year have arrived here via Northern Ireland. The opposition accused the government of incompetence in what was described as its chaos chaotic handling of the migration issue. This ground is back in the spotlight. The open route that links north and south is now a pathway for thousands of asylum seekers travelling here from the UK to seek refuge. It has triggered a crisis in government as an under-fire justice minister moved today to restore an operational agreement to send some asylum seekers back to the UK, even if the arrangement was never used before. We cannot have a loophole, however, where it's not possible for us as a country to return people under an arrangement that has already been agreed. But as the Cabinet gathered, there was a realisation too that this is a complex problem and there's no obvious short-term solution. There are no simple answers. Uh, we have to work together, uh, both with our EU partners uh, and with the United Kingdom, because this is a challenge for everyone. In Leinster House, the opposition was scathing in its criticism of the government's handling of the migration issue. The government is playing fast and loose with people's lives here and the consequences that have been felt around the cabinet, that have been felt in our communities, that have been felt in international diplomacy. And this theme was to the fore in the Dáil Chamber too. The mishandling of this um, by your government, by your Tánis, that has been a gift to the Tories. And if you follow please. politics over there, as I'm, no doubt you do, I, am no, I have no doubt that you are very well aware of that fact too. The Taoiseach pledged that Ireland would not become a pawn for British politics, as he sought instead to highlight what government believe is the main measure to address this crisis. The more significant thing that's been done in recent weeks is not actually the legislation today, but is the faster processing time, because we know that that is what happens, that is what helps, excuse me, that is what helps make a very positive impact in terms of reducing the numbers of people coming, uh, coming to our country. There are still many questions about the precise number of asylum seekers who've travelled through Northern Ireland before seeking refuge here, but the Cabinet heard this morning that the figure could be as high as 90% of the total number of asylum applications so far this year. Michal Lahan, RT News, Leinster House.